What's up, guys? So, first this intro, and this is this is because this video was long overdue. Just your typical hunt video. Unfortunately, um, with New York Comic Con, I was unable to put this one out. So, just a disclaimer: this is an older, uh, maybe about like one to two weeks old, um, which I did find some things, and we'll go over that, and I'll, I'll discuss what I um, what I picked up during that week. Because uh, I have two videos that are overdue in regards to New York Comic Con being in the way. So we'll get to this, go through the hunt, and I will see you on the other side. All right, guys. Target again. Because we haven't been to this one in a while. We're going to check it out. What happened with this? <laughs> it's terrible. No G.I. Joe. What in the hell? There's Arcade. Is Katie still hanging around here? Mirrorverse. Jana and Kira, how in the hell did that happen? Captain Marvel, five thirty-nine. Although, look at this. This is six ninety-nine for the black light. That's crazy. Elaine and Jerry disavowed. Look at that, two sixty-nine. Uh, hey. Look, there's Trevor. Dragon Ball GT, that's new. Redeemer. And nothing new there for NECA. Still all the same stuff. Seems like they never have any new NECA here. Uh, it's strange, but... Okay, well... Fig pins. New fig pins. Yes, the new Dragon Ball GT fig pins. Maximum Venom. Huh. And then your typical pups, which is Typical, like I said, because it's the same stuff that's been sitting here for over several months. This looks like a brand new shipper of of Hamilton Pops. And if you haven't seen this Broadway show, I highly recommend that you do, because it is incredible. go so we got a bumblebee and a cheetor red scorpionock uh those were clearance at the other store well look at you you did restock here restocking on all this snake eyes flint lady j yep that's the whole case right there of Flint, Lady J, and Cobra Commander. So, nice to see you guys on the shelf. Oh, there are a ton of you. Look at you. Nice to see you guys on the shelf, too. And no Baroness, which is amazing how there's no Baroness. One per case Baroness is just always gone. Okay. How is this possible what in the hell are you doing here <laughs> the legends i find 
And now they're, it, it's a Target exclusive at a Walmart. Yes, I am at a Walmart. Why is that here? How did that happen? Steppenwolf finding at a Walmart. Seeing this new wave, seeing the Bane wave at a Walmart. Are you kidding me with this? Hey, at least I'm seeing some new stuff at a Walmart. That's ridiculous. And Wrecker, finally. Here's Wrecker at a Walmart. Really, really nice. Uh, battle armor. Wow. SummerSlam. So they have Top Pick Cena. That's it. Turbo Man, now, now it's like Turbo Man is starting to show up in my neck of the woods. Okay. All right, guys, what do we got at Walmart? Deluxe Retro. These are all new. Dresses there, whoa, look at that, Ultra Magnus. Wow. They are stocking up. Look at you. I've seen it at every Walmart so far. With a his tank that's kind of beat up. But you belong here. I don't know where you go. Oh. <clears throat> no legends. These are the same ones that were all kind of beat up or melted weird yeah see that that's like melted <laughs> uh damn no star wars either come on all right still have this stack of kits right here shadow kits and then, Moss Man, that battle armor is here. Whoa, look at you, AEW. And we got the same two that I saw at the Target. That's unbelievable. Uh, carrying, yep, that's it. And when have we ever seen Ultimates? At a Walmart, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> it's of all things, it's Ric Flair in Stone Cold. Uh, all right, I was hoping for Legends, but it's not going to happen. We are stocked with NECA at this place. Look at all that. Not really any of the new stuff, but at least, at least we see it.
Oh, this one's wild. This is old as hell. Is there any more legends here? No, there's not. That's it. Can I come to nothing? Unfortunately. Oh well. It is what it is. This is like wave one, I believe. And then still the same, but look at this. We got that woman. Nothing new here, no AEW. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Found you too. No Scarlet or Kiko. That sucks. Uh, yeah. This is still sitting here. That's surprising. Uh, someone's been around. It's the first time seeing Buzz. It's a hefty figure. That. Oh, more Batwoman and Breaker. Holy crap. Well, finally got to see this in store, which is amazing. Look at this. Hmm. Isn't that crazy? So it's just those three. So these are just sitting here with no prices. Let me find out. $20.99, that's not right. Oh well. All right, so those his tanks are still here, but no Joes from when I remember seeing them on the shelf. Oh no, look, there's Baroness right there. Uh, I guess no legends. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, it's Bokatan. Where's Casca? Damn it. No tech. So this wave came in. I missed it. What is this? Jazzware is putting out, I guess, the last of their three and three quarter line. Yeah, looks like it. Um, oh, well, there's Fisto, Faker, Evelyn, and Merman. Wow. Oh my god, AEW? What the hell? <laughs> so we got some Sheeta, MJF, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, Penta, Ray, two Jakes, two MJFs. How cool is that? Wow, okay. Really nice. V extremely nice to see this. Unbelievable. So, they have armored Batman back in stock and regular Affleck Batman. In 1588, too. So, that's there. Uh, will I be surprised? I am surprised because there's Fisto Evil Lynn here. Wow. You're here. There's the new Fortnite packaging. Oh. So, look at this restock on this wave still the same here oh what the you've got to be kidding me <laughs> that's crazy oh armadillo wave i missed it is this all yeah so that's a full case of falcon that is crazy. Oh my god. Yep.
Well, there's this guy. But of course he doesn't come with a build -a figure and I'm not really looking for him. Of course I would want Shriek or Morlin or Miles, either one. new too. All new. Wrecker or Wreckgar, either one. First time seeing you and Rhinox. First time seeing you. Oh, I forgot. Here's Bumblebee. There's a Jolt. And there's a Noah right there. Enough. So look at these at Target. Risers for five bucks. I know they're wood, they're not clear, but that's actually pretty cool. Risers, tabletop risers. Yeah, these could go great on the shelf. Alright guys, moment of truth. Well, well, some new stuff. Look at this. So, I may have missed Akiko and Scarlet. That's those. Hmm. More Batwoman. Hey, you're new too. Look at that. It's actually not a bad Green Lantern. But really no G.I. Joes aside from what we saw over there. Uh, look, there's another one and a lot of bat cycles. Uh, wow, those are still around. That's unbelievable. Skeletor. And, oh, no Star Wars still. And that's what we got for wrestling. So they still have some of these, which look nice. They got the card backs too. Uh, I know Todd, you were looking for this, but not for the regular price. Redeemers here, and wow, their neck is wiped out. All right, guys, welcome back. This is what I picked up that week. Um, there was quite a few things. It's definitely a longer hunt video considering all the targets and Walmarts that I went to. I was just completely like going nuts with not finding any Marvel Legends. Um, and then during that week, it was like trickling of Eternals at Target, which is, eh, I didn't need it, um, but it is what it is. That's what was out. Walmart, I had just, had no luck but it was just crazy at walmart because during that time i found the uh captain america wave the um disney plus wave completely there all eight figures in the in the in the assortment box so seeing scarlet witch on the shelf was crazy to <laughs> even though i had it so thank you to Savad for picking one up for me way back when um but we saw that spider-man uh from homecoming was it homecoming the new movie the new spider-man movie so that was the armadillo wave so that walmart had the armadillo wave and that was the only figure there considering the fact that it doesn't have a build-a-figure piece so it is what it is hopefully i'll find it again um and i'm able to pick out the figures that i want from that wave because i am not starting mcu again so that's what we're going for so here's what we got um quite a few things mostly stuff in the mail but um, I did pick up stuff at Target. So Target, first thing, if you saw, if you remember Target, there was these wooden risers, which are actually really nice. Um, but there was something else there. Uh, there, was a, there was a different riser. Uh, and I picked up two of these. It was this kind of riser. And it is wood. It's painted black. They had a brown one there. Um, these were five bucks. So... This is actually not too bad. They're smaller for your detolf. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not as wide for your detolf. But I could use these for this shelf here or my other shelf over there. Uh, this will work out really nicely. 
So I'm actually happy to pick this one up and kind of have some better displayed items using this little riser here. So if you need something like this for your shelf, I would highly recommend it. It's worth it, honestly, for five bucks. Uh, but I did pick up a breaker, a breaker and ram. So I did pick this one up because it was right there on the shelf at that time. And this was before that half off deal where it was $20.99. So I was able to go back after I came back from New York Comic Con and get it price adjusted. So I was able to get this at $20.99 um, because I bought this like on the Wednesday before I left for New York Comic Con. So this is my second one. Um, yes, it is a second one. I did, I, I found it on the shelf, bought it because this is my second one because uh, I wanted another bike. And who knows what I could do with a custom on this one. So I'm very happy that I was able to get a second bike, um, especially for $20.99. So I am extremely excited that I only paid $20.99 for this. It's ridiculous. I hope you guys were able to get that deal. I really hope so. Um, but there you go. That's my Target pickup um, or in-store pickup, I should say. So extremely excited that I have another breaker um, or another RAM, I should say. Uh at Walmart, crazy to see AEW, like a whole plethora of, um, what is it, Series 5. Uh, so that's awesome. And I think a little bit of Series 6 was there. But I did pick up Luchasaurus. What is, it's Luchasaurus. Uh, I didn't want Jungle Boy. As much as I know that they come as a pair, uh, Jungle Boy is way too plain for me. Uh, I, I love how luchasaurus looks in this and it's crazy he's got his, he's got his tongue out and everything really cool um great to have him with the rest of my aew figures so i'm excited about having this figure uh i love seeing all the details in the hands and his tattoos too that's even crazier so much detail in here so very happy to get this figure uh and then we have some mail call uh pretty crazy uh i'm very very excited and watch i don't have a knife oh i have a knife there we go so first mail call um was this one because this one this box this box is from uh he uses the username fabulous Dis uh, fabulous disaster steven he picked up this for me and we made a trade so i'm extremely happy to be able to help him out uh, with his new venture in G.I. Joe. Uh, and I'm extremely happy that he was able to get this one for me. This is wild. Look at that. Oh, yes. New Marvel Legends. Love it. And this one, of course, is this elusive figure from Walgreens. Walgreens exclusive. Nova. Oh, my God. These cosmic figures are driving me nuts considering the fact that I my Walgreens just does not have Marvel Legends anymore. No matter how many times I go to one, it's ridiculous. But here it is. Here's Nova. I finally have a Nova. Looks great. Yeah, it looks great. So I'm extremely happy. Marvel Legends. Really nice to have a new Marvel Legends. Um, and you guys, if you ordered it, Here's the Amazon exclusive Marvel Legends. This is wild. So they, they shipped it in the shipper box. Uh, I have not opened it yet. Can you believe that? Um, for as long as it's been sitting here and I came back from New York Comic Con, I didn't open it yet because I figured I would open it when I did this haul video uh, for my toy hunt. So let's do it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is the Amazon exclusive Wolverine five figure box set. Okay, so this is the front. There you go. Yes. Look at this. Unbelievable. Had, I think we all had no idea that this would be a box set when they were announcing these figures individually. So thanks to, what is it? Robo, Toying Around, Super Sorrel, uh playing with friendship and shardimus so all five of them were able to you know announce those figures really awesome that they got to do that but here we go 
we have this Wolverine five pack. Awesome to have Cyber. These three, pretty much. Those are the three I was highly anticipating for. These two could care less, considering I have an Omega Red, but these heads are incredible. So much cooler, nicer. Um, but there you have that. There's the back of that. This is wonderful. More Marvel Legends for me. Ha. Uh, and last pickup was a mail call from uh, the Four Horsemen. So uh, they were having a, a sale on a Friday, uh, the Friday before New York Comic Con. And this actually showed up after I came back from New York Comic Con. So this is actually really cool. This was part of the Aretha wave. Uh, and I'm actually extremely happy that I was able to order this at their retail prices. So it was 35 bucks, 35 bucks for Mythic Legions. So here it is. Look at that. Hadriana or Hadriana. What a cool looking female knight figure this is incredible uh this actually this faceplate actually lifts up there are extra there are extra um heads in here or one head i'm actually opening it now because i'm very curious to see oh it's got soft goods too look at that we got soft goods cape that's attached with some fur oh my god there's fur on there too Look at that hammer. Yeah, here's the extra head that's right there. The pauldrons, like that, a mace with a chain. Incredible. And the figure itself. Yep, there you go. How cool is that? The detail and the paint is, no one can top Mythic Legions when it comes to their detail and paint. I can't figure out anyone else that could do this with six inch figures. This is incredible. So I'm actually extremely happy that I was able to pick one of these up um, through that sale that was happening. So extremely excited. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it for this one. Let's just say I have a second hunt video that is overdue so that will be the next one including some unboxing showcases that i'll be uploading as well so the next one will won't be current but it will be another toy haul toy hunt and toy haul pickup and you will see that hopefully by next week but thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate it let me know what you guys have been finding so make sure you like comment and subscribe i always appreciate your time we're almost there at 4,000, so I hope we can get there to 4,000 subscribers. So please help me out with that, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope to hear from you soon. Hope to see you on the next hunt.